is the 220-in-1 plug-and-play system. A very, very tiny controller with 221 games built in. They are all 8-bit retro-style games. A lot of them are rip-offs of more popular names. And I do have a series on YouTube where I play these. Enjoy this one. Take that. Take it. Also, if you guys um, see one of these knockoff games and you happen to know what it's knocking off, please let me know in the comments. Because I don't always um, recognize what it's ripping off. Oh shoot! A boss! Ah! Don't shoot your hot dogs at me! Oh no! Oh, oh shoot! No, I haven't been on Smule for a while. It really sucks, but the headphones for my um, phone, like the one with the microphone on it, it, it is not working anymore. And um, the wireless ones don't seem to work very good for me. And I thought that maybe, um, I thought that maybe I can record from my phone, I mean from the computer, but I tried it the other night and there wasn't a option. Like, you can upload from the computer, but for some reason you can't sing from it, which doesn't make sense to me. Oh my god, by the way, some of these are really hard. Like, these uh, racing ones, there's a few different types of racing ones um, that are in this style. Oh, Jesus! Where you just go super crazy. Super crazy um, fast. And it's real easy to die. Coming through, people! Ah! Oh! Now, if I remember, I think I liked this one. Time to sneak in with my tank. Knock, knock! I've come to kick your ass! Oh! Feet apart, please. If I want to go real retro, Strange Loop for the Commodore 64. Hmm. I haven't got to play any Commodore 64 games, but I would love to. I mean, I just love retro games. I love to watch people play them, and I just like to see the progression of of video games. And actually, it's it's kind of insane how quickly video games have evolved. You know. blowing everyone's mind to VR. It's pretty much Mahjong with animal tiles. And uh, so we won't play this one very long, that's for sure. Mostly just showing you what it is. Number five is called Magic Joni. Now Magic Joni is actually pretty fun. I like this game. I didn't skip that at all, it goes really quick. So. I got a 
little magic flower. Now with this one, you have to eat all these little guys up into an unknown point in the game, and a key will show up. And when the key shows up, you can open up the treasure chest. Oh, first key! How do I... Oh, you know what? I think it's three keys to open the chest, if I remember correctly. This title music rules. Oh, I know! And you're gonna hear it a lot. I'm gonna shoot you with my green bean gun! Now with this one, it's it can be a little confusing visually because of the heavy shadows. Um, it, it throws you off. Eat your greens! Oh. oh goodness, oh gosh. It's a little jumpy looking, and I apologize for your your eyeballs. Uh, there, there's a few games on here. Oh! You see that Barbie plane? Bitchin'. Um, there's a few games on here that are a little, um... It makes your eyes want to puke, you know. I think this is one of them. This is honestly a record on how long I've played this. Look at this one here, stuck. Oh, <laughs> I died on it! Nature Clan presents Pendable Crystal Ball. buttons to do anything, just walking around. Getting the green balls. Oh! Watch out for the ninja stars. Ooh, getting cheeky. Nailed it. <laughs> oh. It made me make uh, upset Daffy Duck noises. Ah! I think the very first video game that I remember playing is, um, Qbert. Do you remember Qbert? Qbert on an arcade, I think, is would be mine. Castlevania. Before Castlevania, I think there was this weird, like, racing bike one, speeder bike or something for the Atari. And that, because my uncle had an Atari, so I, I didn't get to play it very often, but I played it a little bit. Because I, I mostly had exposure to, um, Nintendo. And so, from, from the original Nintendo, I remember playing Castlevania, and, um... East Dog Lacey. There was a fishing game on there, too. I didn't play it very much because it was boring to me. But it, I remember there was, like, swordfish, and my dad liked to play it. Diamonds. Cocaine. Bombs. Guns. More cocaine. More guns. So now, I'm a doggo, and I gotta remember where all this shit is. Dig it up. Not to dig up the bombs. Oops! <laughs> Hot dog. It's a burglar or a criminal. He drops off a mix of guns, drugs, diamonds, money, and bombs, and then the the. The drug sniffing dog, the tracking dog, comes and tries to dig up all the stuff um, and not get blown up. So it's like a memory game. And, uh, you know, I'm not the best at memory games. I'm not terrible, but. Yeah. Okay, so police versus thief. Police versus thief. Violent chasing. 
love the game name. Alright. I am... Am I the cop? Which one am I? Yep, I'm the cop. I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! Ha ha! I got him! Noise. Let's try to get him again. This makes me want to play Crime Killer. I love that game. Okay, so some of these roads are like an underpass without saying that it's underpass. Okay. Alright, gonna get you. Gonna get you! Head on collision! Can't run. Oh, shoot. Uh, but the game that I had was for PlayStation. It was called Crime Killer. And uh, it did get stolen from me over time, but I need it again because I love playing that game. It was so fun. It, if, if you're not familiar with Crime Killer, um, it was it's set in the future, so it's like futuristic city, and you are a police vehicle, and you just have people that you have to you know apprehend. And so it's a really fun car game where you're trying to chase after the bad guy. And you can either stun him, stun him and take him in alive, or you can kill him. So it was fun. It was very fun. And I definitely need to add it back to my collection, faux show. Sure. Because then you know what? If I did, I could stream it. I could play it. I got a lot of um, PlayStation 1 games. I love PlayStation 1 games. Pong Pong. Okay. Okay. I am the red vehicle. I cannot move very well. It's very strange to turn. Oh. That's interesting. What's the point of this? Trying to knock these other guys in the hole? Get in the hole! Up! Oh. Oops. I fell into the hole myself. The hole from the ring. It's like bumper cars, and you're throwing the other guy in the hole. Down the haunted well. Also, if you guys have ever played any of these games, definitely let me know. I kind of doubt it, because a lot of these are rip-offs. Power robot. It was really raining these past couple days. But today it was nice and sunny. Oh! Very cute. Jump on the breadsticks, my friend! No! Not time for pulveration. What's the weather like for all the peeps watching, huh? What's the weather like for you? Has it been hot? Has it been raining? What's going on? Rain? I suspect it as such. I figured that rainstorm that's been haunting me in my area for a few days probably traveled around. Make its rounds. Can I pick this up? I like this look of pink and red. Blow it up, okay. Oh my goodness! Woo! Double barrel action. Ah! Uh! Next is called Rabbit Village. Now, in this one, if I remember correctly, 
there's fires happening for the rabbits. And you have to save the rabbits from the burning buildings. Get in! But you have to avoid... You have to avoid the missiles. And you have to also avoid these little weird guys like messing with the people that you're trying to save too. Drop down. Don't drop down. There we go. It's kind of cute though, right? In a morbid way, I suppose. Oops. Oh no, lady. Get off. Get off. Shoot. Oh shoot, I ran into a bullet. Okay. Oh, oh, no, no, no. Ha ha. I'll take you to safety, douchebag. Oh, I thought he would get in my book basket. How do I... Oh. Okay, like, I guess I just go away after a while. Oh, no! The, the bunny burned up! Oh, I'm so sorry! Oh, she did. Oh, man. That was traumatizing. More rescuey. All right. Well, we're about ready to go to the next one. Grim dark. Let's just go ahead and jump to the next one. There's a lot. There's a lot to see, people. There's a lot to see. <laughs> 